Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for August 26th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, we have these two twos here looking into this box. That does place a two here. This one looking in here, because these are all filled and this one looks up, does force one into one of these two cells. Since both of those are in row one, that is going to be the one for row one. We call that pointing. It points at the rest of the row, saying you can't be one. Those can't be one. This one, unfortunately, doesn't help. There's already a six there, but it does put one in one of these two cells. All right. Uh, how is the two and the one? We've got a six and a seven. So the seven does something similar, where seven ends up up here somewhere. That points in here along with this seven. This seven helps out, putting a seven down here somewhere. All right, this cell's not one or seven. It's also not five, so it's quite limited. Because I'm, I'm basically counting, right? There's five open cells in the row, so immediately it can't be more than five digits. That's still a lot, but we're starting at five. And then we see of the digits in the row, the ones are here and the sevens are here. So I can immediately subtract two from that and say, well, there's three digits left. As soon as it's three, I'm willing to mark it. But I'm also noticing, I looked down to see how much was helpful here, and the 3 and the 7 we already accounted for, but the 5 is new. And so there's actually only two digits that this cell can be, and it could be one if I happen to have missed something in my scanning. I don't think I did, but we're going to just account for everything. So it can't be 1, 2, 3, it could be 4, it can't be 5, 6, 7, 8, and it could be 9. So there we go, those are our two digits. And so by doing that math in your head before you pencil, it can help reduce human error. Because you can go, okay, did the number of digits I penciled match the number I expected? If not, let me go back over that carefully and see which one I miscounted. All right. Um, cool. Uh, is there anything else I can do here? This four looking up, unfortunately, doesn't help me. I got everything that looks into this box. These two also are down to three digits each, max. I'm also seeing this four and this six help out. So we have the same deal. Um, so these are... Oh, they also all aren't two. Okay, we might have a naked single. Um, let's just let's just double check. So what, what do these two need to be? They can't be one, two, three. This right one can be four, but not this one. They can't be five. They can both be six. Oh, actually, sorry. No, only the left one can be six, not the right one. I don't know why I thought they both could. I had pointed out this six earlier. Uh, seven, eight, and then they both can be nine. Okay, we don't have a naked single. So we were down to, let's see, one, two, three, four... Yeah, we were down to three, and then they both couldn't be two, so we were down to two. Hold on. One, two... Th oh, there was already a... Okay, that's it. There was already a two in the box. I double-counted the two. I was like, they should be naked singles. <laughs> All right. That's what I was saying. Just double-check your work, um, and you'll figure out where you made the mistake at some point. And that's better than mispenciling it and then having your solve break on you or, or getting lucky. I don't like getting lucky with a mispenciling because it means I didn't actually solve the puzzle properly. But sometimes you don't even know that you got lucky unless you publish it every day online to, <laughs> to hundreds of people uh, with keen eyes. All right, anyway. I think that's all I'm getting out of this band. Let's move on to the next band. Uh, we've got these two ones here looking in. There's a one in one of these two. How's uh, the eight and seven? The, eights, the eight does help. There's an eight in one of these two. The seven... Actually, the 7 is helpful. This 7 looks in, this 7 looks in. Puts a 7 in one of these two cells. That points down along with this 7, putting 7s here. So 8 and 7 are taken care of. I don't think there's anything I can do with 7s here. We've got 1, 4, and 8. I did the 1s. The 4 and 8. So the 4 looks in here as well. Okay, so what we have here is... Yeah, we have our classic New York Times trick that I found backwards again. I mean, there is no correct way to find it. But uh, basically what I noticed is this 4 looks in here. And even ignoring this four down here, it does limit four to these three cells, meaning that we have this four, seven, eight, creating a hidden triple here. Even better though, this four looks in, this four looks in, it places the four, which then places the eight, which then places the seven. Um, that's gonna make this a triple and this a triple, right? But this triple is gonna be these three givens, the one, three, six, that have to end up here. And I'm noticing that this can't be one or six, so this is our three, and then we're left with a one, six pair here. And then this is a triple. You can either use the row or the box. They should agree. If they don't, you have a problem. Uh, two, five, nine is what's left here. The two can only go here. We have these two twos. And then we're left with a five, nine pair. Well, that resolved quite nicely. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to mark these eights since I see it. We have these two eights. I'm trying to see what this box is doing here. 
Uh, I guess the sevens, the sevens look in. I guess we didn't even need that bottom seven. Um, the seven, the one, the six looks in here. The six looks up. That places the six and the seven. That leaves a triple here. We need a two, um, five, and nine. Yeah, and this can't be two, five, so that's the nine. This seven does clear the seven, but it doesn't. There's still two places for seven in the box. All right, two, five pair. That makes this a pair for the row. We have one, two. We need a three. The three can actually only go here. Uh, and we do a four. That finishes the row. That gives us this nine here. Nice to have that penciled because that immediately gave us the naked single that's not obvious at all uh, at, at a glance. Um, at least not to me. Uh, two, five, and nine here. So the five and the nine tell us that this is the two. The nine tells us this is five and this is nine. Very nice. So this band just completely finished. Like we just have a couple pairs left to resolve. All right, let's do this band real quick, but because I think that the verticals are going to be better, but I don't want to miss anything obvious in this band here. Um, there's no repeats. So yeah, I'm just going to switch right to the stacks, and we'll, we'll pay attention to these boxes a little more carefully when we do the stacks. Okay. So I've got one, two, and nine. Let's start there. The nines are done. The twos do look down here, along with this two, putting a two here. And then the one does not actually have a buddy. Okay. And we've got three, five, and nine, so we already took care of the nines. Three and five both have buddies, so the threes look up along with this three, placing the three in here. These two threes look in. Oh, we do get a three in the corner, deet deet dooting. Puts a three there. Um, these two threes look down. This three looks in, putting a three here. And then there's threes here, and I think that's it for threes. Um... The fives now look up. This five looks in, putting a five in one of these two. All right, so I took care of those. This column is down to two digits. We have one, two, three, four, five. We need six and eight here. All right, so that's a six, eight pair. Um, hmm. I noticed this row we reduced to four digits. What are they? They are the one, four, five, and seven. Okay, so this can't be 4, 7, so this is 1, 5. This can't be 4, 7, so this is 1, 5. So that's a hit in 1, 5 pair, um, meaning that this is the 4, 7 pair for the row, because we had this 4, 7. <clears throat> Whoa, we had this 4, 7. Basically, these two 4s and this 7 is enough to do that. Uh, that does mean we have these 4s here, so let's just mark that. In fact, this is a triple. Let's just mark the whole triple. We need a 2. No, we don't need a 2. We need a 4, which only goes to those 2. And we need 8, 9. Um, yeah, okay, so this one's not 8 either, so that's the 9. Giving us this 4, 8 pair, leaving 5, 7, 9 here. Cleans up a little bit. Okay, 4, 8. So what's this cell then? So we have this 4, 7 pair. Yeah, so let's look at the... Oh, I have this 5 corner mark just sitting there. Yeah, it does look accurate, so that's our 5. And then this is 6, 8. Now, can I do anything with that? I don't think so. We know the 9 is here, but I guess that's not super important to mark, but I will. Just because we already have all, all these 9s. Um, let's not worry about these yet. I think there's more to find, probably vertically in, in this stack, in this stack, in this stack. Um, okay, I'm going to start with this 6. Yes, so 6 is in one of these two. I'm just trying to see if there's anything we can do up here. Um, if there is, I don't see it. Two and five, unfortunately, don't have buddies. Um, yeah. And we've got the eights we already marked. Okay. Let's take a look at this column. We need a one, three, four, and seven. So this can't be three or four. So this is one, seven. This can't be three. This is one, four, seven. All right, not super useful. Let's look at this stack here, make sure I got everything here. Yeah, this column needs three digits. It is the one, five, and six. It's not a five. The six is here. <clears throat> okay, I'm not seeing anything with that. <clears throat> here... I have to decide what I want to mark here. Um, let me take a look to make sure I didn't miss anything obvious. 
one five four eight five five five. I don't think I'm missing anything super obvious. Um, I'm going to have to mark a cell that doesn't look super restricted. Uh, let's see. How about this column, which is down to four digits? We need one, four, six, seven. So this is one, four, oopsie. Yeah, this can't be four or six. So this is one, seven, and that does make a one, seven pair. I think this can be any of one, four, six, seven. Okay, so this one seven pair does mean that this is a triple remaining. So we need a five, seven, eight, nine. Oh, sorry, it's a quad remaining. No, 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 it's a triple. I just you said seven for no reason. Let's do this again. I have one, two, three, four. I need five, eight, nine. This cannot be five or nine. So this is a naked eight. That gives us the six and the eight and the six. That gives us nine and four and eight and four. That's what we needed. All right. Um, this is a corner marked with a six, and then now that's seven and one. We need one and six here. All right, that's not an eight. We get the one here and the seven, four and seven. This is one. Okay, that gives us six. All right, take a step back. This row is down to two digits. We need um, five and nine. This has the five, this is the nine. We did have this nine up here. That's two and five, that's five and one and five and nine and seven. All right, getting all of these. Okay, now we're just plonking digits. Um, what do we need besides three here? We need an eight. It's not resolved. Okay, it's just all pairs down the line. They'll, they'll resolve each other. We need a three and three and four, it looks like. Okay, <laughs> uh, I need a two. Wow. Um, two and nine. There we go. That resolves. So we get the two and the nine. That gives us this two. And that gives us whatever this digit is, a four, which gives us three and four and eight and three. That's an eight. That's a seven. And we're done. All right. Not too bad today. You, you did need to notice all the stuff with this band. The New York Times trick helps a lot there. You can also just have penciled things in such a way that you notice the hidden triple here. Um, or you could have just even noticed that the four was placed and then gotten it without even realizing you did a New York Times trick. But this whole band basically resolved itself other than a couple pairs, and it wasn't too bad from there. Um, I think the only other thing really I had to find was this one seven pair. And luckily it did come from restricted rows and columns. I didn't have to just randomly find them. Just my strategy of focusing on rows, columns, boxes with four or fewer digits and penciling what's limited um, does just expose that one seven pair. So not too bad there. Cool. Well, let me know how you did. And of course, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.